Good morning everyone. We continue with the exploration of uh, Siddharameshwar Maharaj's words. Here is a paragraph where Siddharameshwar Ji is quite emphatic that the quest for spiritual awakening, spiritual growth should be what one is most occupied with. Of course, my Guru Ramesh Ji would say, if it is destined to happen, it will happen. So, let's see what Siddharameshwar Ji says here. Try to take advantage of this human birth. Do not waste it. A beast's hide can be used for making shoes, but human hide is of no use after his death. Yet, if a man makes an effort of understanding reality, he will become God. This body has absolutely no use after death. I lived only to die in the end. Do not lead such a life. Live to be immortal. Your birth will be in vain if you do not utilize it for understanding reality. You must think of why you were born. He came from a womb and entered a grave, unnecessarily wasting his birth. Let not this be a position. Men eat, excrete and finally die. Then they have to pass through births in 84 species, thereby becoming miserable. The purpose of human birth is to obtain ultimate bliss by realizing God. Instead, people involve themselves in various things. They waste this priceless human body. Everyone must prove that he is Brahman to obtain the ultimate peace. So as we can see from this passage, he is quite, I would say, strict in a sense with his devotees and clear that this is the main aim of their lives. Anyone who is on the spiritual journey is already on this path. For example, you were if you are interested in these podcasts, that step has already been taken. So the destiny is already unfolding according to the divine plan. The next quotation. How is the self? The answer is... It is thinner than water, lighter than a flower, and yet heavy like a mountain. It is very delicate and very peaceful. Whenever you look at others, always look upon them as the self. Do not focus on their body. Now this is quite nice 
where Siddharameshwar Ji talks about the stages involved in the attainment of final reality. I'll just touch upon a couple of them. Generosity There is nothing that belongs to me in this world. Let things come and go. I am free from all. No motivation to protect even that which belongs to oneself. And then he talks on success. He says, what is success? To get rid of Maya. Good riddance to rubbish. Yamraj, the god of death, sitting on one side of the balance, casts the nets in the form of sensual pleasures. To release oneself from them, you should be ready to give them up. Then the master helps you. He is the true guide. If there is a lighted lamp in the house, light will stream out through the window. When one gets knowledge, the higher glory follows automatically. It becomes evident in speech, hearing and in all the senses. You see, this is what Rameshji would call living the teaching. It is an automatic process because when the sense of doership is removed from the me one still has to operate as the separate me in daily living but this light this light of presence shines through and as Siddharameshwar ji says it becomes evident in speech, hearing and in all the senses. Then he goes on to say, the glory of God is imbibed after one becomes God. Undoubtedly, freedom from worry, success and fame, all these are attained. In Maya, one becomes grief-stricken with failure and one becomes her slave. You feel happy if anything is presented to you. But this is false. It is like being served bread in a prison. Siddha Rameshwar ji keeps emphasizing this point on Maya throughout his works. And this is one of my favorite quotes of Siddha Rameshwar ji. One who needs nothing from this world is really rich. Money is for beggars. Fabulous. And finally, these two short quotations. I suffered many miseries because of having believed the outer actor to be myself and thus I suffered bondage, believing the external world to be full of pleasures. I was like a king who took pleasure in begging. So true. And finally, Duality is due to two entities, the seer 
and the seen. The disciples of the Master see everything as one. The Master gifts the third eye, the eye of knowledge. Duality moves away. The veil of illusion, the veil of Maya moves away. Truth is without any distinction. Somehow, I, at the end of this podcast, I am reminded of Ramesh Ji's last book, The End of Duality. I would suggest for those who enjoyed this teaching, do read it. It is a very small book. I am not even sure if it's maybe 50 to 70 pages at the most. And these are the last talks of Ramesh Ji. He was very coherent, but the words were coming out of his mouth slowly. And it was literally his last talks, therefore we called it the end of duality. And I don't know if I read this somewhere, but the consciousness emanating from the Guru is most potent in his or her final days. And this potency can be felt when one reads this book. It is similar to, for Nisargdatta Maharaj, Consciousness and the Absolute was the last book, his final talks, which also had this potency, tremendous potency in them. So it is a book I would recommend. It is the last book. I worked on with Ramesh Ji and then he passed on in September 2009 and I remember we launched the book in um, February 2010 on my building terrace. Yes, I think it was Feb 2010. Um, I think so. I hope I've not got it wrong but it was a lovely evening we had, tea and dinner. And we called uh, uh, Guru Bandhus. Wayne was in town. Wayne was there. And even Carl Renz was there. I had invited both of them. Chetan Balsekar, Rameshti's brother, was there. And it was so beautiful to uh, have that evening on the terrace. And uh, I must tell you all something quite funny. There's a, um, someone who's now a friend of mine. He had come. At that time, I didn't know him. I was introduced to him on the building terrace. And uh, I gave a short speech then on this book. And he came up to me with our common friend who introduced us. And I guess you could say he has a gift of seeing things or hearing voices or whatever. And uh, he took me aside and said, you know, Gautam, when you were speaking, Nisargdatta Maharaj was there. <laughs> So I felt, I said, oh, I thought my guru would be there, but this is not bad either. So that was quite sweet. I mean, who knows whether these things are true or part of the imagination, I wouldn't know, but just felt like sharing that with you all. Thank you.